I'm Zor. Welcome to Unizor Education. Um, I'd like to present a problem um, uh, on the topic of complex numbers. Uh, it will be problem number two, actually. Um, here it is. It's related to graphical geometrical representation of um, complex numbers on the, on the plane. So let's consider you have a unit circle and a complex number on it, A plus BI, and it's on the unit circle, it means that A square plus B square is equal to 1. This is A square, this is A, and this is B, so A square plus B square is equal to 1. So that's what it means that it's on the unit circle. Now, let's assume I'm considering a square of this number. The problem which I would like to present is the following, that the square of this number is also on the unit circle, and these two angles are exactly the same. So basically, to square the number which has a representation sitting on the unit circle, you just have to basically use the same angle which it has with an x-axis and uh, just double it, basically. So the angle uh, between this radius and uh, the x-circle is exactly double from the angle between this radius and, and the x-circle. So this point is a plus bi squared. So that's the problem. Um, two parts, again. One part is that the square belongs to the same unit circle. Second part is that the angle doubles. All right. Um, let's prove the first part. That's the easy. Um, since the distance between two different points uh, which represent complex numbers is basically a modulo of their difference. Well, this is zero, so it's a modulo of the number itself. Let's find what's the modulo of a plus bi. Obviously, we will use the fact that a squared plus b squared is equal to 1. So, what's the modulo of a plus bi? Um, a plus bi squared. We need to know the modulo of this number. Well, let's just do the calculations. Square is a square plus b square i square, and i square is minus 1, so it's minus b square according to the rules of uh, uh, multiplication of complex numbers. So this is the real part of our new complex number. And our uh, imaginary part will be uh, a, B, 2 a, B, i. Okay. What's the module of this? Module is square of the real part plus square of the imaginary part. Right? Well, this is not the module, this is actually a square of the module. So if I will prove that the square of the module is the same one, that's the same as module is equal to one. But now, what is this expression? Well, that's very easy. It's a to the fourth minus 2a squared b squared plus b to the fourth plus 4a squared b squared, which is equal to a to the fourth minus 2a squared b squared plus 4a squared b squared. So it's plus 2a squared b squared plus b to the fourth. And obviously, you have recognized that this is a square plus b square square, which is equal to 1 because a square plus b square is equal to 1. That's the condition, initial condition that we were using our initial point. So, proof that the square of our 
um, complex number which belongs to the unit circle also belongs to the unit circle. That's easy. Okay, that's the first part. By the way, I did not um, explicitly ask you to press the pause button before I started um, solving, proving this particular thing. Um, well, I forgot actually. Now you can press it because um, if you want, the, the, the most important part of this problem is number two actually, that the angle is doubled. So before I start this continuation of this problem, solving this problem, um, those which those of you who would like to um, try their own, and I do suggest you do that, press the pause button and uh, think about this yourself. Um, but uh, I will continue now with uh, proving the second part of this problem, that the angle doubles when I'm squaring uh, a complex number. This is a little bit more involved, but anyway, here it goes. I hope you did press the, press, uh, the pause button. Okay. Um, let's consider these two segments. This, by the way, is 1, because it's a unit circle. This is also 1. Now, obviously, since there are on the unit circle, so all these right radii are exactly the same and equal to 1, if I will prove that this segment has the same length as this segment, that will prove that my angles are the same. So the total angle from x-axis to my new uh, squared complex number is double. So the, the, the only thing which I would, would like to prove is that this distance is equal to this distance. Now, as you remember, the distance uh, between two points on the plane can be actually uh, solved using, using algebraic methods of uh, complex numbers. That's, that's the beauty of it. So I will use the complex number which represents this point, this point, and this point. I'll take their complex numbers difference and the lengths of the uh, corresponding segments would be modular of uh, differences. Alright, so the only thing which I have to do is basically just do a bunch of uh, tedious calculations, and I do have to, to tell that this is a little bit lengthy and, and, and tedious. It's simple, it's just plain multiplication and uh, uh, addition and subtraction of numbers, but uh, well, you've got to do it, and uh, that would prove our, our problem, our theorem. All right, so. First of all, let me express this a square a plus b i square as a more traditional complex number, um, which basically I was using before. It's uh, a square minus b square. That's the real part, and complex and uh, imaginary part is this. That's exactly what I was using. Uh, to prove that this uh, segment is equal to 1. I just took the module of this and it turned out to be a square plus b square squared, which is 1. Okay, so this is traditional um, notation for this particular point. Now, at this point, we also we already have this notation, a plus bi. How about this point? Well, this point obviously is real uh, part is 1, imaginary part is 0. That's what we have for this point. So, <clears throat> the distance from this to this should be equal to distance from this to this, using a square plus b square is equal to 1 as a, as a condition. Well, um, let's just put all these four conditions again on the board so I will have some free space. So a squared plus b squared is equal to 1. That's one of the conditions. Now my three points are, point number 1 is a squared minus b squared 
plus 2abi. My second point is a plus bi. And my third point is 1 plus 0i. From this time on, we do not really need any geometry. We will just use pure algebra. OK. Now, let's frame this as a condition. Now, the distance from this to this. Well, you have to basically make this difference, which is a squared minus b squared minus a as a real part and plus 2ab minus b as imaginary part. That's one number. That's the difference between these guys. Now, the difference between these guys is a minus 1 and b minus 0i. So it's a minus 1, that's the real part, and b minus 0, well, let's just have b. Not in parentheses, i. That's the difference between these points. So what do I have to prove? I have to prove that the module of this guy is equal to the module of this guy. Right, okay. Now, we will wipe out again what we don't really need. With that point, we need this condition. And all we need to do right now is, what's the module of this? Calculated by square of this plus square of this. What's the module of this? It's square of this plus square of this. And compare them, they should be exactly the same. All right, so this is my A and this is my B, two complex numbers. Um, module of A, I'll use two uh, vertical bars just to signify the module is equal to, um, I will probably put this B somewhere here. Modulo of A, square of this plus square of this. Uh, yeah, that's tedious, but anyway. A square minus B square minus A times A square minus B square minus A. That's the square of this guy. Now, square of that is, well, I can do it right now. It's 4 A square b square minus 4 a b square plus b square. Square of this number, which is this, minus double this times this, which is this, and plus this. Okay, equal. Now we have to multiply these. All right, let's first multiply a square by each of those guys. We will have a to the fourth minus a square b square minus a cube. Now, minus b square times all these guys. Minus a square b square plus b4 and plus a b square. minus, minus is a b squared. And the third one is minus a. So it's minus a cubed plus a b squared plus a squared. And we still have these three members. Plus, plus 4 a squared b squared minus 4 a b square plus b square. Okay, that's my overall expression. Well, it's a little long, but well, what can you do? 
just to make things simpler, we can do the following. Look at this. a to the fourth plus 4a squared b squared plus b to the fourth. This obviously is a squared plus b squared squared. But a squared plus b squared is 1. So the combination of this, this, and this gives me 1 because it's a 1 square, which is 1. Again, a squared plus b squared squared is a to the fourth plus 4a squared b squared plus, well, actually, I'm sorry, that's not exactly true. Um, that should include this as well. Right, minus 2a squared b squared and minus, because minus a b squared, a squared b squared, and minus a squared b squared, and plus 4a a, a squared b squared, all together is 2 plus 2a two squared b squared. And that's what gives me 1. Because a squared plus b squared squared will be a to the fourth plus 2 a squared b squared, which is this, this, and this. Minus 1, minus 1, and plus 4. So it's 2 a squared b squared. And b to the fourth. So that's 1. OK. I, I, I told you it's a little tedious and uh, not very interesting. Anyway, um, what else do we have here? Hmm. Okay. Okay, what can we do here? All right, so minus a cube remains. There is nothing we can do about this. Now, a b squared, oh, there's another minus a cube. Okay, so we will put two a cube here. True a cube. So we cover this guy and this guy. Okay, great. Now, plus a b squared, plus a b squared, and minus 4 a b squared. So it's minus 2 a b squared. So we cover this, we cover this. And we cover this. What's remaining? A squared and B squared, which are together again equal to 1. So we have another 1. So instead of that, I will put 2 here. That's what we have, right? Now, this can be simplified even further. This is 2 minus 2a, and in parentheses, a squared plus b squared. Right? If I a bring it outside of the parentheses, minus a cube and minus 2ab squared, which is equal to, again, as we know, a squared plus b squared is 1, so it's 2 minus 2a. So, you see, such a very big and complex, um, complex in terms of complexity, not complex numbers, um, such a big expression actually simplified to relatively uh, simple, fo <coughs> simple form. Okay, so that's my modulo of the difference between um, square of the complex number and complex number itself, original. Okay, so let's just put it somewhere here. Um, I don't need this. And I can just write the answer. 2 minus 2a. Very nice, very simple, etc. Okay, great. Now, b. What's the modulo of uh, the difference between our original complex number and the, the point on the circle which lies on the x-axis. Remember? Sorry. 
So this is A and this is B. So this is the length which I am trying to establish right now, which is modular of the number B, which is square of this plus square of this. A square minus 2A plus 1 plus B square equals. Again, we all know that A square plus B square is 1, and another 1, so it's 2 minus 2A. As you see, they are equal, which basically proves the point. So whenever you square this number, which uh, is represented by a point on the unit circle, you just have to double the angle from this number to the x-axis. So this is 2 alpha. That proves the point. Thank you very much.